All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have a huge video coming at you today, and it's going to be a three-part series. Now, you obviously know I have a very large Stephen King collection, and that is uh, the video that really helped my channel get its start. And uh, I gave you guys a whole tour of my Stephen King collection, and I've amassed a few more Stephen King books since then, but I have a whole other shelf of books that has nothing to do with Stephen King. And a lot of you expressed interest in seeing my entire book collection so that's what we're going to do, and once I've got all my books out there, I'm not going to buy any more books for quite some time, and maybe every six months I'll do a full bookshelf tour update video. So, we're going to separate this into three sections. The first one being fiction books, the second one being non-fiction books, and the third one being art books and mangas and comics and that sort of thing. So, we're going to go in alphabetical order. And I'm going to be showing off my fiction books today, all the way through from non-Stephen King to Stephen King to everything I have on my bookshelf. Let's begin. The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. I picked this up at Indigo. World War Z by Max Brooks. Uh, this actually is my brother's book. I'm not sure where he got it. Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. I picked this up at Indigo. Stormfront by Jim Butcher. I purchased this at Value Village. Agatha Christie, and then there were none, purchased at Indigo. Rainbow Six by Tom Clancy. I purchased that at Bibles for Mission Thrift Store in Bowmanville. Leviathan Wakes by James A. Corey, purchased at GNU Books. Maybe it's GNU Books. I'll just call it GNU Books for the rest of the video. Have not read, and I have not read Rainbow Six. Two copies of Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. I like this red one, and this is at GNU Books. I picked this up at Bibles for Missions. The sequel to Jurassic Park, The Lost World by Michael Crichton, Bibles for Missions, something like 99 cents too. And I have not read the Jurassic Park series. House of Cards by Mark Danielewski, have not read. Purchased at Indigo. Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Ames, purchased at ABC Books, Toronto. Have not read. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, purchased at Bibles for Missions for... $1.49, have not read. Red Dragon by Thomas Harris, have not read. Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris, have read. This was a gift. This was Bible's Permissions. The Silence of the Lambs, first edition, Thomas Harris, Bible's Permissions, $3. Hannibal Rising and Hannibal by Thomas Harris, have not read. Bible's Permissions, $2 each. Heretics of Dune, Frank Herbert, Bibles for Missions, 99 cents. Have not read. Chapter House Dune by Frank Herbert, first edition, purchased at Bibles for Missions for $2. Have not read. Part of the issue is I have a lot of audiobooks I listen to before I purchase physical copies, but I swear I've read a lot of books that I don't own physical copies of. Dune, House Atreides by Brian Herbert and Kevin Anderson. Have not read. Purchased at Talese for $3.99. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, purchased at Value Village. Have not read. Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. Have not read. Purchased at Indigo. The Great Hunt, Robert Jordan. Have not read. Purchased at Value Village, I think. Winter's Heart, Robert Jordan. Have not read. Purchased at Value Village. Moving on to a speed round of Stephen King. I'm not going to talk about where I got all these books from because there's a whole wide array of where these books came from. So, Stephen King, 1122-63, hardcover edition. 1122-63, paperback edition. 1922, paperback edition. Bag of Bones, paperback edition. Bill Hodges Trilogy, hardcover edition, box set. Blaze, hardcover edition. Carrie. Current Mass Market Paperback Edition. Carry Book Club Edition. Sell Paperback Edition. Halfway through moving my desk back, I realized I forgot one. Charlie the Choo Choo by Beryl Evans slash Stephen King. Christine, Paperback Edition. Colorado Kid, Paperback Edition. Gorgeous cover. Cujo, Paperback Editions. Cycle of the Werewolf, Paperback. Dom's Macabre, Paperback Edition. The Dark Half, Hardcover edition. I do have a paperback edition, but it's loaned out to someone right now. The Dark Tower. Gunslinger. Illustrations by Michael Wellen. The Drawing of the Three. Illustrated edition. 
Illustrations by Phil Hale. Drawing of the Three, paperback edition. Wizard and Glass, illustrated edition. Illustrations by Dave McKean. Wolves of the Kala, illustrated edition. Illustrations by Bernie Wrightson. The Dark Tower, illustrated edition. Illustrations by Michael Wellen. Wind Through the Keyhole, hardcover edition. The Dead Zone, book club edition, hardcover. The Dead Zone, mass market paperback. Desperation, different seasons. Dolores Clyborne, hardcover edition. Doctor Sleep, paperback edition. Dreamcatcher, paperback edition. Dumaki, paperback edition. Elevation, hardcover edition. Eyes of the Dragon, paperback. Everything's Eventual, paperback. Firestarter, book club edition. Hardcover. Firestarter, paperback edition. From a Buick 8 paperback edition. Full Dark, no stars. Hardcover. Gerald's Game, hardcover. The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, hardcover, paperback, bam. Green Mile, with a hard slipcase. Hearts in Atlantis, hardcover. Hearts in Atlantis, paperback. If It Bleeds, hardcover. Insomnia, hardcover. The Institute, hardcover. It, current one you'll find in Indigo in Chapters. It, paperback. It, paperback. Just After Sunset, dual-sided, hardcover. Joyland, paperback edition. Lisey's Story, paperback. The Long Walk, Needful Things. Paperback. Night Shift, paperback. Nightmares, Dreamscapes, Mint Condition, hardcover edition. Stephen King on writing, paperback edition. Not the nice new one, though. It's got a stupid fucking cover. Outsider, paperback edition. Pet Cemetery, paperback edition. Pet Cemetery, hardcover book club edition. The Regulators, hardcover edition. Revival, paperback edition. Night Shift, paperback edition. Salem's Lot, mass market paperback edition. The Shining, mass market paperback edition. Skeleton Crew, mass market paperback, well actually I don't know, Skeleton Crew. The Stand, very nice edition because the mass market paperback edition is trash. Stephen King, Storm of the Century, original screenplay. The Tommy Knockers, paperback edition. Under the Dome, paperback edition. The Talisman by Peter King and, St by Stephen King and Peter Straub. Black House by Stephen King and Peter Straub, paperbacks. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsen. To Kill a Mockingbird. This was a gift from my dad, and I have read it, and uh, yeah. Shutter Island, Dennis Lehane, purchased at Indigo, have read. Review on my channel. Son of Rosemary, Ira Levin, have not read, Value Village. Darkly Dreaming Dexter, have not read. This is by Jeff Lindsay, purchased at ABC Books. Necronomicon, H.P. Lovecraft, purchased at Indigo, have not read. Well, I'm about a quarter way through it. The Curse, Robert Lynch, uh, this book was just in my family, have not read. A Song of Ice and Fire, this was purchased at a bookstore in Stratford, Ontario. All of these were thrifted in near mint condition from Value Village. I Am Legend, Richard Matheson, Value Village. The Godfather by Mario Puzo, thrifted from Talis. Lonesome Cowboy by John Rees, picked up at Griffin Books. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, new books, GNU books. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, I think my mom got this from her school for me actually. So. By J.K. Rowling, piece of shit, transphobe. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Pothead in the Order of Phoenix. Harry Pothead in the Half-Baked Prince. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. Oh, also all the Harry Potter books were thrifted from Valley Village, except for the one from my mom's school and the one from GNU Books. Thrifted, Valley Village, Mint Condition. The Bad Beginning, Lemony Snicket, Bible's Permissions Thrift Store. 
actually this whole series from Bible's Permission Thrift Store, so I'm not going to say it for everyone. Reptile Room. Wide Window. Miserable Mill. The Vile Village. Hostile Hospital. Carnivorous Carnival. I need to get the rest of them, but these are all thrifted from Value Village for like 99 cents each. Now, because each book in this series is by a different author or a lot of different authors, I didn't break them up by author's last name. So we just have Star Wars. Starting with A New Hope. On to Return of the Jedi. Empire Strikes Back should have been in between the two. Jedi Apprentice. And The Last of the Jedi. Gee, Ryan Johnson, where'd you get that title for your movie? These were all childhood books from who knows where. Ghost Story by Peter Straub. Bible submissions, I think. Battle Royale by Kushun Takami. This was picked up at Indigo, and holy shit, what a great cover. The Hobbit is currently being loaned to me by my friend Tyrus. The Lord of the Rings series paperback editions, uh, these have just been in the family for, I don't know, I think I got them from a book fair, or my brother did back in his youth. And it came with the One Ring replica, and we, would, we managed to have a few of those in our childhood, and we lost them every single time. And if I didn't need to say it, J.R.R. Tolkien wrote these. Probably my favorite piece of literature I own, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien's The Silmarillion, illustrations by Ted Nasmith. Like, every, I'm not even going to open it like that because I don't, I don't want to be too harsh on this thing, but every page has a gorgeous full-page illustration every few pages of The Silmarillion story, and it was absolutely stunning. I picked this up at Indigo. It's a very heavy book, and I cannot wait to give it a read all the way through when the time comes. J.R.R. Tolkien's Unfinished Tales from GNU Books. Gears of War, Anvil Gate by Karen Travis. This was, I think, my brother's book, and it's made its way onto my bookshelf. Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. Uh, illustrated edition, I think this is one I managed to pick up through school. Might have borrowed it from a library and never returned it, and uh, yeah. H.G. Wells, Collector's Book of Science Fiction, Value Village. Dragon Bone Chair by Tad Williams. Uh, this was from Value Village, I believe. Black Prism, Brent Weeks, Griffin Books. Last but not least, Musashi by Aiji Yoshikawa. This was from Indigo. I had to order this online, actually, because Noah carried it in the stores. This is a really beautiful book, and I think it's absolutely stunning. And it's a really, really gorgeous book. And there you have it. That is part one of my bookshelf. All of the fiction books I own that are in standard prose, not comic books, not art books, anything like that. Um, so, every fiction book I own that is on my bookshelf, there you have it. And next up, we're going to be doing my non-fiction books, and that's going to be coming sometime within the next few days. And after that, we're going to get into comic books, uh, scripts, even though I did the screenplay for the Stephen King book, but that was part of the Stephen King shelf, so sorry about that. But we're going to get on to plays, comic books, manga after that, and all sorts of cool stuff. If you watch this whole video, damn, you're a legend. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel more, help us grow, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you really like what I do here and you want to help out the channel financially, there's a Patreon link in the description where you can uh, sign up to be a monthly patron and there's all sorts of exclusive reward tiers depending on your budget. And I offer stuff like behind the scenes content, exclusive videos, hauls, and uh, a look into the production side of things. So thank you so much for watching everybody and have a lovely, lovely day.